Hi, Steve here with a revised tutorial 3. Uh, in the original one I did make an error which I'll show you as we go into the Excel spreadsheet. So this tutorial we're going to show you how to well simply basically download the soft the stats into Excel and then once in Excel how to filter it. Now that before you go uh, just uh, before we go and actually put it into Excel, which will be done by pushing the Downloads Excel button there, just a couple of things to note. Up the top here, we talked about in video two, if you click on these buttons, they change color. So whatever the black buttons are, at the moment I've got Home as Home and Away as Away, they will be what's downloaded. Okay, so be very careful when you do that, that you are actually downloading the stats that you want. Okay, so we're going to have home as home in a way as way, and we'll download into Excel. Now, of course, if you don't have Excel on your iPad or Mac or PC, this is not going to work, obviously. Okay, so we can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner that we've downloaded it. Just as I do this, we still have an... Um, it says the 30th of the 11th. Um, we're getting that rectified so it will have the correct date at the moment. It's one month out. Okay, so we'll open this now. This is not really a lesson on how to use Excel, okay, but it's how to utilize our software when you export it to Excel. So the very first thing you need to do is we need to get it into a format so it's sortable, and that's simply done by highlighting the row with the headers on, so make sure you go right across to the very end. Okay, so we've got all of those highlighted, then go up to data and to the little funnel there, and once we push on that, you'll see now that they've all got little arrows, and that means that we can sort those columns. And be, just before we go to sort those columns, what we want to do is we want to put a split in the page so that when we scroll across, the match details aren't taken off the side of the page. So to do that, we just click on the E column there, and we go to View and to Split. Now, there's a little line down here, so as we scroll across, you can see now that the teams aren't disappearing off the other side of the page. Okay, so now we've got our Excel into a sortable uh, format. This means now we can go about and do what we want to in Excel. So the first thing we want to do, at, I'll show you, is how do we look at the different methods that we've given you on the results page. Well, first of all, let's look at method one. And method one gives us the, the two filters that we're using on lay the draw here. You can see here, filter number one is combined goals scored and goals conceded greater than three. In the original video, I was using the home goals and home scored, which was incorrect, Michael informed me. I have to use the combined goals scored and goals conceded. So that's the first filter. And the second filter is both teams to score greater than 50% of them and more than 50% of their matches. So let's go and do the filter now for lay the draw or method one. Okay, so my error in the first one was I looked at using this one here, home goal scored and goals conceded per match. That's not correct. I need to go scroll right down to the end to this one here. Combine goals scored and goals conceded per match. Now, in order to filter this, click on the little arrow down here and we can see I need to do a filter by numbers. So we're going to be greater than three. So we must, there must be greater than three goals average scored per match to meet this filter. 
So once I've clicked on that now, we have all the teams here that have been averaging more than three goals per match, either scored or conceded. So the, and the next filter we need to do, which is combine both teams to score, we need that filter to be at greater than 50%. So filter greater than 50. That's 50%. Okay, and so we narrow it down now to the teams that are showing over here are all the teams that meet those two filters. Okay, now in our results that we show, we're only using what we call the top leagues because the reason we're doing the top leagues only is because obviously the liquidity has to be there on Betfair. Okay, so what you'd be looking at is the top leagues, e.g. like the Australian League there, um, the Italian Sierra A League, S Scottish Premier Division, leagues like, you know, that have got good liquidity in them. Okay, so that is how we find method one. If we click over to method two, Method 2 has combined goals scored and goals conceded greater than 3. So it's got the same filter as, as method 1, but it doesn't have the both teams to score. So if we bring up, go back to our spreadsheet, and what we'll do is we'll clear the filter this filter here still stays in place. It tells us there that we've got greater than three. And this filter here says we've got it greater than 50%. We, will, we don't need that filter now. So if we click in that and we can go and clear filter. Okay, so that's cleared that and left us now with the teams that qualify for us to lay the 1-1 one -one score. Okay, and once again, you're looking at the major leagues um, that you'll be looking at backing if you want to use Method 2. I'd just like to say Method 1, Method 2 and Method 3, we've got them there as a kickstart for you to learn how the football daily football stats work. But there's no compulsion to use them. I'm sure if you've been following football, you've got your own theories. And with 72 different criteria to sort, by, you'll soon see, um, put some of your theories to test now that you've got the figure work there. Okay, now let's just carry on with method three. This is method three here. Doesn't get a lot of, lot of bets as you can see there. And the filter is home team to score in both halves when playing as home. So, so, so that's how we've got... So if you remember when we saved it, we saved the home as home in a way as way. So when we go into the filter, it's going to be the correct filter for this one here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to clear the combined home scores and goals conceded. So we clear that filter now, and we're back with everything that we need here again. So what we're looking for now is this one here. home side to score in both halves percentage. Okay, and what did it say? It said we need that to be 70%. So in our little drop down menu, we go to numbers filter, greater than, in here we put 70. Click OK, and guess what? There's no games that qualify for that method three today and that's not unusual as I said it doesn't get a lot of goals if we were to say maybe adjust this down to 50 let's have a look 50 for both teams to score for a score for the home team to score in both halves 
we see we have two games today. But that is not how method three works. You use 70%. But there was the two at 50%. 50% of the games that these teams play, they score in both halves. The home team, sorry. The home team scores in both halves in 50% of the game. But we want them to be in 70% of the games, which we just showed you nothing like that. In fact, if we look at both teams to score there, we find that here Inter Milan scores 56% of their games. They'll score in the first half and the second half. And Celtic will score 60% of the time in the first half and the second half. Okay, so that's how the three filters work. The three methods work using Excel to filter them. Also, if you wanted to do research in that, you can go up here um, and bring up a date. And we've got the results and all that from the 22nd of December 2017. So you could go to, say, like, sad day there and bring up the sad day. And there we are now, 23rd of the 12th. It brings up all the games played on the 23rd of the 12th. And you can go and save them in Excel and go through. You might want to see how the sad days perform, how the, the weekdays perform. And you can download any of those um, past result days and do some research and uh, put some of your theories to test. So thanks for watching uh, this tutorial three on how to use Excel with the daily football stats. We trust you'll have a lot of fun with it. So on behalf of Michael and myself, Steve, thanks for watching tutorial three. We hope you see merit in using our daily football software. Thank you.